Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to my channel. In previous videos, we saw how to set up Firebase and fork an open source project and how to set up Mapbox. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up EAX, also known as Expo Application Service. So just go to the website called expo.dev and log into your account. And if you haven't created an account yet, just sign up and create your account. After logging into your account, just click on this create project button and enter the name of the project. I will name Tutorify and click on create. After creating the project, you have to just copy this project ID from here and paste it into your env file. Now go to your repository and copy this env variable. Paste this env variable here and write this project ID in front of this variable. After that, go back to the repository and copy this env variable and paste it in the e env file. Now go to the project and close this. Now copy this owner name. paste in front of the expo owner environment variable and save. Now after this fifth step you just have to run the following commands one by one. First run this npm install minus minus global in the VS code terminal. This will globally install the EAS CLI in your system. I have already installed this so I am going to skip this. After that just log into your EAS account. Paste this and hit enter. Now enter the email or username and password for your EAS account and then proceed. Now after logging to your account you can just write EAS who am I to check the name of the person who has logged in. This will show the username of the person. Now just go to the repository and copy this command EAS build configure and paste this in the terminal and hit enter. And select all and so this command will create EAS.json file in your project. Now to run the project successfully, you just have to copy this development profile from the repository and paste it in the VS code. Now this Android package variable, environment variable, you have to write the Android package name. For that, just write com dot your username coding nerd dot your project name to torify copy this and also paste this in the env file and just save these files so this is how you set up EAS. Now to push our local env file to our EAS dot uh, to our EAS just copy this command and paste this in the terminal. So this will push all our local environment variables to our EAS project folder and you can see these from here. Just go to your projects, select Tutorify and go to the secrets. So all your environment variable have been uploaded to AS project secrets. Now after that just run this command to create a development build for your project. So this command will 
create a development build for your project. Now this usually takes some time to create a development build. You can view your development build here. It usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes and because we are using free tier here and if you are using a peer tier the building process will be much faster. So I will get you back when the build has been finished. So the build has been completed and it took around 11 minutes and 41 seconds to create this build and to run all these processes. So in the next video, I am going to show you how to set up Expo notifications for our app and how to run this application using development build on our devices. So stay tuned and see you next time.